Hi there everybody, this is Miss Nelson here and today we are doing lesson 9.7 in our 4th grade Florida Go Math books. 9.7 is called Comparing Decimals and this is our last lesson in chapter 9. It's starting on page 369 in your big book, so if you're in my class you're going to fill out 369 and we're going to also fill out 370. So make sure you're filling that out as you're listening to the video today. So comparing decimals, basically that means when you compare, you're going to be putting in the sign um, less than, greater than, or equal to. So you want to find out which decimal is bigger in this lesson. So here we go. The city park covers 64 hundredths square mile. About 18 hundredths of the park is covered by water. And about two tenths of the park is covered by paved walkways. Is more of the park covered by water or paved walkways? Now, don't jump to conclusions. You may look at these decimals and say, um, that one's 18 and this one's only 2. So, obviously, the 18 is bigger. But you can't do that. So, here's what you do. One way is to use a model to compare. So, 18 hundreds, we have a hundreds model, and you would color in 18 of them. Okay, 18, one more little one down there. And then this is a tenths model, and we'd shade in two tenths. And now we can see from this model, just by looking, that the two tenths is greater than the 18 hundredths because it's got two rows completely filled in. The 18 hundredths only has one row filled in plus almost a second row. So that's one way. Use a model and just use your eyes. Then you can put in the sign um, to make the sentence make sense. So this would read 18 hundredths is less than 2 tenths. Another way would be to use a number line. You would just locate 18 hundredths and 2 tenths on the number line. So 18 hundredths would be about right there and 2 tenths would be here. Two tenths is the same as twenty hundredths because it can you can add a zero on to the back and it doesn't change it. So you would say that eighteen hundredths is closer to the zero, so it's less than two tenths. Okay, the last way down here is to change them into equal parts because we've got hundreds and tenths that we've been comparing so far. So let's change them both into hundreds and then we can easily see which one is bigger. So this right here is 18 hundredths. Two in the tenths place, we can add on a zero to that to make it 20 and then it would be 20 hundredths. So we can see the 18 hundredths is less than 20 hundredths. So 18 hundredths is less than 20 hundredths. So more of the park is covered by the paved walkways. Paved walkways. So now switching over to page 370, we have another way to compare decimals. Um, and it says you can compare numbers written as decimals by using place value. Comparing decimals is like comparing whole numbers. Always compare the digits in the greatest place value position first. So let's do an example of this. Tim has um, five tenths of a dollar. So I'm going to color in five of these. Three, four, five. And Sienna has five hundredths of a dollar. Who has more money? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we can obviously see from our model that Tim has more money. So the model was helpful in that one. But now let's go over here and use a place value chart. This is actually the way that I do it all the time because there's no way in real life that I'm going to sit here and draw um, a tens chart and a hundreds chart to compare. So what you do is you put the information, Tim has uh, five tenths and Sienna has five hundredths. You put it into a place value chart or in other words, you can just line it up with your decimals in the same places. 
and then you just see which one is bigger. You start always with the ones. They both have zero, so we're going to move on to the tenths. Okay, well this one has a five, this one has a zero, the five is bigger, so Tim has more. So the digits in the ones place are the same, this is what it says in the thing, the digits in the one place is the same, so you would move over to the tenths place, and five tenths is greater than zero tenths, so Tim's amount, five tenths, is greater than Sienna's amount of five hundredths. Okay, so let me give you another example. Let's compare 1.3 and so 1 and 3 tenths, that's how we say that, and 6 tenths. I like using this place value where you just line up the decimals. You start in the ones place. The one is bigger. So I can say 1.3 is greater than 0 0.6, or 1 and 3 tenths is greater than 6 tenths. Okay, let's try another one really quick, lining it up this place value way. Let's pretend we have, um, let's say, 68 hundredths and 64 hundredths. Okay, they both have zero in the ones place, so we move over to the tens. They both have six in the tens place, so we move over to the hundredths. This one is bigger, so I'm going to say 68 hundredths is greater than 64 hundredths. Okay, hopefully this makes sense to you. Um, if you have any questions, please leave me a message. If you're in my class, you should have been filling out 369 and 370. And the password for this lesson is highlighter. Write that in your planner so your teacher knows that you watched the video. Thanks.